What's up guys, this is Next Gen Reductions, and in this video I'll be showing you how to fix Windows updates disabled by administrator. So first, what you want to do is go to uh, Registry Editor. By doing that, you go to Windows, well you hit Windows R, it'll bring up Run, then type R-E-G-E-D-I-T, just like that I'd imagine. Let me go ahead and just hit Enter, and it'll bring up this. You want to go ahead and hit yes, and then this is where you want to go to fix that. So go ahead and go to H key local machine, go to software, then go to policies right here, then go to I'm just reading my notes here, then go to Microsoft. You want to, then you want to go to Windows. And then you want to go to uh, Windows Update, and this is where you want to be. You just want to click Windows Update, and there should be something like this over here. And here you can see uh, Disable Windows Update Access. Uh, by default, it'll be set to one for some of you guys that are watching this video. I would I would imagine. What you want to do is go ahead and modify that, and you want to set to exactly how you see there zero. And then you just you don't want to touch any of this. You just leave hexadecimal fine, just like that. Zero. Press OK, and that should do it. Now uh, you go to your control panel, and you know you check Windows Update uh, right here. See if it works. Now before it wouldn't work for me, but I found. Uh, this guy found this method. Method, sorry. Uh, I'd like to thank EDX Photography because he was the one that I uh, that helped me fix my issue. So huge shout out to him. Just waiting for it to, you know, uh, open. As you can see, it's all fixed. Uh, Windows 10 upgrade reserved. You want to go to change set, change settings. Now this is where it'll you know tell you everything. Wait for this. La -dee -da -dee -da. <sighs> it's taking forever. and as you can see once it opens you won't see any message up here saying disabled by administrator or some settings are managed by your system administrator so as you can see you can now choose what you want to do and uh, install updates automatically is the one that should be checked by default because it's recommended mine was set to never check for updates so yep now I can install updates automatically so thank you very very much for EDX photography I highly doubt you'll be watching my video but thank you if you are so hope you guys enjoyed this video hope this helped and I'll see you guys in next time just waiting for you. well you know see ya